come on in and welcome to my home. Today I want to tell you to record the boring stuff. Alright, you're asking what do I mean by that, and I really wish that somebody had told me this ages ago. Let's start from the beginning. There is a person who I know on uh, Facebook, and he shows pictures of my area. His name's Cliff. Hi Cliff, if you're watching this. Uh, he posts all these great pictures of this area, which is just amazing. Stores and those sort of places. And you look at the pictures and you say to yourself, wow, that's really neat to see, you know, how places have changed in the last hundred years or so. And then I got thinking, I don't take any of those boring pictures. Sure, I've got the exciting pictures of what's happening, you know, in, the, in my life and friends and that sort of thing. But what about the grocery store, and what about the things like, you know, the yard, and just that old red chair that everybody hates? Well, some of those pictures right now seem sort of stupid and boring, but years from now, those are going to be the pictures that you're going to want to have, because they're going to be the memories that you're not going to remember. Sure, it's easy to remember the big things, like, you know, grand store opening or something like that, but sometimes it's really hard to remember where things were. Where was that shop before it moved? What was there? Remember that building that they tore down? Yeah, those things are things which we all seem to forget about. We seem to forget about what the house looked like at a certain time in, in uh, you know, our lives. Take all sorts of pictures, even the boring ones, because sometimes the boring ones will give you the most memories. You'll thank me for it in 20 or 30 years when you are amazed and you're showing your kids, yes, this is what it was like when I was vacuuming the house. They're like, you vacuumed? You didn't have the robot do your vacuuming for you? Maybe we won't even have houses back in the future. Who knows? Take those pictures and then you can share them with everybody and people can come together and remember things the way they really were. And you know what's really bizarre is hopefully in the future people aren't going to be looking at fashion magazines and decide that's how we dressed. Because guess what? We, we didn't. Those fashion magazines, those are only for elite few and even they don't dress like that all the time. The more pictures that we have, the more mundane, boring, pointless pictures that we have, as long as they're clear and you know those sort of things, the better your memories will be. Let me know what you think about this down in the comments, and I hope I get to see you again tomorrow.